Introducing Oye Kosola Alabi, popularly referred to as the Emotions Doctor, is the lead researcher, intellectual property owner, and the lead facilitator of Emotions City. Thank you so much for staying with me till this time or this point where we have been discussing how Jesus embodied emotional intelligence and emotional intelligence for Christians using Bible stories, scriptures. I was able to articulate all of this in about two hours because I didn't want it to be too long. I also wanted you to do your study and research. I wanted us to share more. So if you're following me on social media, my handles are Emotions Doctor on Twitter, on Instagram, and then my name, uh, my first name, Oye Consola Alabi on Facebook. And then you can also hang out with me on our different website, which is EmotionsCity.com www.b.com and then ednegotiations.com so i wanted us to just have this conversation please share with me i would like to learn from you also please share with me about how jesus embodied emotional intelligence i just see him as the role model from first corinthians 13 to galatians 5 22 which is the sum total of sssr which is everything about um, self-awareness um, maybe we should just look at it let's see let's see let's see let's see how galatians 5 22 depicts um ssr yes that's a bonus which i don't mind sharing with you so let's see how galatians 5 22 the fruit of the spirit that's what the bible calls it so we have the gift of the spirit and the fruit of the spirit so let's say the fruit of the spirit which is love joy peace forbearance other scriptures will say long suffering kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness self-control so let's look at the self-control is under self-awareness which is all the self-regulation, gentleness, self-awareness, self-regulation, goodness to yourself, which is self-awareness, and then social awareness, which is social intelligence, kindness to yourself and social intelligence, long-suffering to yourself and extending to other people social intelligence, peace to yourself and being a connoisseur of peace also to others, a peace dispenser, joy yourself, other people, love yourself other people so you can see that galatians 5 22 to 23 is the sum total of self-awareness self-revelation social awareness relationship management if you can, if you can focus on fruit of the spirit you'll be wealthy extremely rich and i would explain to you right about now so how can we turn emotional intelligence um, into gold so at emotion city we have a total of presently we have a total of 138 um, members of alumni Night, who are high network individuals who for you to pay our school fees which is close to a thousand dollars is not um it's not a joke especially in nigeria and then we've had students from ghana 10 students from the united kingdom 10 so it's a globally relevant certification and content because it is from our homegrown research africans by africans for africans so if you're talking about Center for Emotional Intelligence in Africa, it is Emotion City. We are not just teaching what they taught us abroad, we are bringing it home to how Africa is, because Africa is particular, the human beings in Africa are also particular, and we have almost the same level of pain from genocide to um, colonialism to wars. Yes, we have gone through a whole lot of things together. So all of us, have been programmed we relate to pain in a particular way sexual assault like a lot of things and some countries are still going through it so we are the voice for africans by africans so let's talk about how we can make money through emotional intelligence which is one thing that i deliberately say to everybody who has gone through emotion city which is that first of all you have no you have no reason to share what you haven't experienced so the Bible says that Jesus began to do and to teach. Jesus never taught what he had never done. So Jesus never engaged in what is never done. Jesus did first before he thought. So if you're a trainer or whatever, are you practicing what you are training? Or you are training and then practicing? One thing people say to me is that I practice what I train. I have my weaknesses because emotional intelligence is not for perfection. Emotional intelligence is daily improvement at Emotion City ability to look at your strengths and your weaknesses, check and audit your days and see what you could have done better and improve on it the next day. 
because nobody is perfect. Even the earth cannot sustain perfection. You know, so I say to them that the first thing you need to do is to invest in yourself. When you invest in yourself loud enough, God himself, Jesus himself will be your peer, like he has been my peer. Himself will be your peer. And what would be, that will mean is that you are a solutionist. You have the capacity to solve problems. In fact, you can even anticipate the problem and solve it. So you can create the problem and solve it. So Facebook created a problem. We didn't know that anything was wrong with the way we were communicating. We were happy with those kind of phones that we used to use our hand to roll until Facebook came up and said, you know what, guys, you guys don't understand. There's a better way to leave. And then created Facebook. And in creating Facebook, all of us saw a problem that they packaged for us. And that's where we are. Where we are, our grateful. So let's look at the first step on making money. The first one is finding meaning. Human beings are meaning making machines. We're meant to seek meaning and patterns in random events. We take this to the workplace and we can assign a lot of meaning to everything that we do. And the meaning we assign to everything that we do is linked to our confidence, our social status, personal judgments, good or bad. And with this, with this inbuilt prejudice, it is easy to get biased where you take everything personally and attribute intent to people and incidents where none exist and just take the wrong decision. So the first thing is recognize that everyone is too focused on their own world to think about you or plot how you how to make you feel each time you are agitated by others. Bottom line of it is that remind yourself of your bias and subtract intentions from your calculations to take better decisions. Bottom line, finding meaning simply means that understand that the world has 7 billion people. You are one out of them. 7 billion plus. You are one out of them. And in one out of them, whether you like it or not, there are people who love you. There are people who don't care about your existence. And there are people who outrightly hate you. Like I said, understand all of these people and then take it to the business phase. So if you followed me quite well, you would understand my stakeholder and analysis of four flavors of people in your life that you need to pay attention to. The four flavors of people are people who I call plus power plus interest. So they have power and they're interested in you. List those names, names of those people out. Those are people who would give you 80% of your income. Remember the character principle of 80% of your income comes from 20% of people. So understand the plus P plus I because they are the ones who will give you 80% of your income. Your retainers, those ones who keep oiling you. I have a client that I've never met in my life. He has been our client for five years. We, um, we plan surprises for his wife twice every year. I have never met him and he has transacted seven digits with us repeatedly. I have never met him. So earlier on, before the wife's birthday or wedding anniversary, we remind him, blah, blah, blah. We also give him discount here and there. We ensure that we give him more value than he pays for. And he has stuck with us for five straight years. Interestingly, he's not a Christian. So it's not because we attend the same church or so, da, 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 da. No. So it's not based on that. But I've recognized him as plus P plus I. He has power and is interested in us. So I must keep oiling him. And every year, there's an amount of money that he contributes to our bottom line. So, after plus P plus I, understand plus P minus I, people who have power but are not interested in you. Your responsibility at this level is to convert them to be interested in your existence. They don't know what they need you for, and because they don't know what they need you for, they cannot patronize you. So, it's not that you are not good enough. They don't know who you are, what you are selling. And how do you get what you are selling? Three questions you must answer. answer. Who are you sent to? People try to define what they are selling before they who. It's not right. Understand your target audience. Who are you sent to? Their demography and their psychography. Then what are you selling? Then how are you selling what you are selling? Meaning when you know the target audience, you will know where to find them. So the who, the what, and the how. Very key. Extremely key. So emotional intelligence is tied around your stakeholder analysis. Your plus P plus I plus P minus I. The third one is minus P plus I. They don't have power, but they're interested. Some of them are your family members. They pray for you. They fast for you. They are your support system. Please keep them on the way that um, go for their prayers and all of that. Finally, minus I minus P. Facebook followers, blah, blah, blah. Word of mouth. Apart from everything, they drag you if you don't humble yourself. If you humble yourself, they will drag you. They don't have manners. Whoever they are, they will be all right. So, those four people are very crucial in your life. And in business also, those four people are extremely crucial. Extremely, extremely crucial. One of the books that I would suggest that you also buy and read, read it like a Bible, is called Biscuit. Biscuit, B-I-Z-K-I-T, by Mr. Lake Alder of 
Order Consulting. It's one of the best books I've laid my hands upon in a long time. You know, it's a manual for business professionals and entrepreneurs, and I have recommended this to everybody who follows me online repeatedly. I'm not paid for it. I'm doing this because I want you to succeed. So don't think you say, oh, no, I'm doing this because I need you to succeed. I have one here for whatever it is. What this is what it looks like. So you can see that it's just not a business manual. This is free advice. <laughs> you can see that it's just not a business manual. It's a life manual. And here is my copy. Here is my copy. It is less than $80. About 25,000 naira, less than $80, um, 200 and something pages by a sage. So it is one of the best books that I have read in my entire life of business. It tells me everything about personal branding that somebody has documented his journey and you can outrightly learn from. Biscuit, order it on www.lekeorder.com or something. Just Google Leke Order, L E K E A L D E R, and then you sort yourself out. So. Understanding the stakeholder analysis, those four sets of people, every time I have my own set of people written down, I have a uh, book I should have shown you, but I don't want them to see their names. <laughs> so I don't know where they are. But the essence of this is you should be able to trace and track your money. And in tracing and tracking your money, you know where 80% of your attention, your energy, your resources are going to. What causes stress is the fact that we major on minor things we major on the minus. Stress is when you major on minus. So look at how much of your time from online to offline that you spend with people who may not be able to increase your greatness. And you are not insulting them. You are not looking down on them. You are just spending your time with people who challenge your thinking, who challenge the God in you, and people who help you experience a higher level of yourself. Another thing you need to pay attention to is that money comes to people who are patient. If you've observed customer service, for example, in Nigeria, you will see that a good number of people are, are unhappy, are frustrated, and they are looking for where to dump their frustration. So if you are an entrepreneur and you are also very, you, you also experience anger a lot, or you call yourself that, oh, I'm very angry, I, I don't take rubbish, I don't take nonsense, da, 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 you will be humbled and you will be broke. What your role models are not telling you is that they don't only take nonsense, they drink nonsense. So, and it's not that they are taking the nonsense to destroy their self-esteem. No, they just understand and know that if people knew better, they would do better. They are focusing on their desired outcome. There are some clients you need to walk away from. I totally agree. Walk away when you have to walk away. But your conscience, if you have one, will tell you when you are walking away out of pride and ego. When you are in a hurry to refund people's money. When you are in customer service is key. Customer service is money service. And your customer, the ones you will retain are those ones that you are helping. Sometimes you may even get them through fights and battles and all of that. You may even get them. Another thing I would suggest to you is please go online, join as many fellowships and scholarships or whatever that you can. Sensible ones for responsible people. Join as many as possible. Um contribute you can join um, where you can also serve freelance like volunteer and all that contribute immensely volunteering is a fantastic way of increasing your greatness volunteer at places where you know that your time and your energy will count if you're a christian please read more than bible more than your bible read more than motivational books so after the motivation what's next read books on strategy read books on logical thinking read books on writing proposals like study yourself malcolm gladwell i think it was him yes that said that to be a professional and on top of your game you should study at least ten thousand hours to be on top of your game my reminder is why put ten thousand hours when you can do 15 or twenty thousand get your voice note everywhere you go to get everything you need to do emotional intelligence is the game changer it is the magic according to the world economic forum 2020 this year emotional intelligence is the fifth most important skill in the world initially it was number six but if you even look at number one to five i think it's blended into emotional intelligence so your iq would open doors for you your iq will get jobs for you your iq would do a lot of things for you because you are intelligence intelligent but how you nurture it how you sustain it the sustainability factor is emotional intelligence and relationship building relationship management is extremely key 
The quality of your life is based on the quality of your relationships. And money is looking for you. If you look at musicians, you will see that they do things in droves. So when there's an artist, there are other artists there, there's a comedian there, there's a hype man there, there's this one studio rat. Like they go out in tribes and communities. Find your tribe. Find your tribe of people who are better than you and people who have different skills than you have. Don't let complex or esteem get you out of greatness. Find your tribe. Not just yes, my people. Find your tribe. And when you find them, brainstorm. Think. But in everything, me preservation, people preservation, and earth preservation is key. Extremely key. To learn more about how to convert emotional intelligence to money, you can join my tribe. I've only given you what the money is worth. <laughs> and I've deliberately kept some secrets and some other strategies for people on my tribe. Thank you so much once again for hanging out with me. I am Oye Konsola Labi, the one and only emotions doctor. I hope it was worth your time. Please engage me. You can send me a DM, send me an email, oyekon at emotioncity.com. You can talk to me, but I will reply you if I have to reply you because I suspect that I will be getting a lot of mails now that I've done that. So I will reply you if it warrants that I reply you. But in case I don't, please forgive me. It's not because you are not important, but because if I receive hundreds and thousands of emails, I will not be able to attend to it. I'm a family woman, so I have a lot of things I'm doing with my life and existence like you do have. So please forgive me in, a, in, a, in advance. Please forgive me in advance if that never happens. But if I can, I will. If I can, I will. And I will try to. If I can, I will. Thank you once again for spending a part of your life with me sharing your existence with me i hope it was one worth your time once again thank you thank you for listening to this timeless teaching for bookings or details on the emotion city please visit www.emotioncity.com